We're not going to tell you exactly how to plan your lessons or what template to use because different schools have different expectations and different teachers have different styles. But I wanna give you five quick tips for using the pacing guide to plan your lessons. The first is backwards planning. It's a buzzword, you've heard it, you probably already do it, but it absolutely applies to our pacing guides as well. Let's say I'm planning third grade day four. When I get to this page of the pacing guide, I might start at the top and read the whole way to the bottom. That will give me a background overview in my brain about what's there. But when it's time for me to really truly plan the lesson, rather than starting with my opening routine, I'm gonna start with my reflective closure because that way I know this is the task and this is the question that my students need to be able to answer by the end of class. With that in mind, I can think backwards through my gears. What practice problems should I assign during inclusive student activities? What examples should we walk through during guided instruction? How does this formative task provide access and support students as they move into guided instruction? How does this opening routine provide access and support students during this formative task? By planning backwards, you're able to see those connections a little better and to think, what is it that I want them to take away from the opening routine in preparation for the formative task? The formative task in preparation for guided instruction and so on. Tip number two, there are five components in the framework and we provide you precisely with three of them. For the other two, you're going to have to make some decisions. So what that means is boom, boom, boom. You have an opening routine, a formative task, and a reflective closure. But for guided instruction and inclusive student activities, we want you to make decisions based on your students. So we're saying, hey, if you go to Envision, Expressions, Engage, Illustrative, or these additional places, you will find lots of problems, games, and activities that you can use to craft guided instruction and inclusive student activities. So a big part of your planning process is going to be to identify what two to three problems are we going to walk through during guided instruction? What problems or centers or games or small group activities am I going to pull from here to assign during inclusive student activities? That's a big part of your planning process. Step three, we recommend, because that number two might be overwhelming, that you start with expressions and envision. Those are the two programs you are most familiar with. That's what you have consumables for. So if you're overwhelmed and this looks like so much, start with your program. Once you have more time and you're able to explore more, you may want to supplement with Engage, Illustrative, which are both free online, or these additional things. These are really great options and we hope you explore them, but if you're overwhelmed, you can always just start with what you've got. Let's go on to number four. For Envision teachers, consider option one. What that means is if you have expressions, there's only one option you can use for the formative task. Easy, there you go, it's decided. But if you're Envision, you usually have two options and that's because the Envision solve and shares make good formative tasks. However, if you're an Envision teacher, my advice is don't just see the word Envision and assume you should use the solve and share. Sometimes option one is better. So take a look at both and decide which one you think will better support students' understanding. Last tip, plan with your students in mind. We made these pacing guides for the whole district, but every school, every teacher, every student is different. So it's your job as you plan, as you pull activities, as you plan questions and figure out how you're going to implement the lesson, make tweaks, alterations, and decisions based on what you know about your students.